right, so here he is, longtime flyweight staple and former champion Davison Figueredo. Outstanding finisher. He can knock you out. He can submit you. The cardio has really started to catch up with the skill set, and fans are always excited to see this man compete. Always excited. I mean, he's one of those small guys that when we watch him walk to the octagon, you feel like something explosive can happen. And on many occasions, that's exactly what does happen. But for Figueredo to win tonight, he has got to be more willing to accept whatever comes to him in the fight. He cannot chase the knockout. He has got to be ready to defend takedowns. He's got to be ready to box. He's got to be ready to grapple. If he wants to win again, and head back towards the championship. But man, is he an absolute delight to sit down and talk to and to watch compete. And you can argue that were it not for the presence of one Davis and Figueredo, this UFC flyweight division would cease to exist. Big spot for the former champion tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Akashev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that his brother is his brother. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Akashev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbun. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbun's presence <laughs> in the Makashev corner. Islam Makashev steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Davison Donegaro Figueredo. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC. Champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, our referee Great. for this one. Great. Yeah. Right, early portions of the round here. A lot of different focuses for Davis and Figueredo. Certainly has every skill in terms of the wrestling and the grappling and the striking. But cardio management, maintaining a pace over 15 or 25 minutes, that was a big focus for Davison Figueroa here during this fight. Oh, well, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueroa pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel more comfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power, from his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has a very bad against Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand. Great timing on that double leg. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Figueredo's in half guard now. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard, 
Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Makhachev's back in full mount. He's got to start throwing down. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. Takes his back move. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Islam Makhachev. Beautiful transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. He a lot of fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. just before you heard the horn. And of course, he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Oh, oh he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Oh, that one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> There's his jab. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Figueredo. What a great job landing another punch. Figueredo's eyes starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, Figueredo. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Block that one. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Figueroa. with the ground and pound here. Let's go, we got a scramble here. Makashev's in half guard. All right, into full guard here. Look for a pass immediately in the half guard. Keep advancing the position. Figueredo's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. He's got to be careful here. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. He's 
gonna attack Armbar here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, take a seat, bud. Breathe. Deep breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a Ready very fight. educated crowd. Ready. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was indeed, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, how good was that judo toss? Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Figueredo. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Change of the position. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. from the top here by Islam Akasha. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Close guard. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, side control now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Chefs has got full mount now. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Nice shot there by the champ. In the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Under a minute to go. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Makashev's back in side control here. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Gotta be careful here. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, sit down. Deep breaths. Breathe. Slow that heart rate down. You're not tired. I don't care. You're going to get out there, and you're going to work. You train. All right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive Ready, fighter, fight. but also Ready. for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting. Oh, he's got him hurting here. He's got to be 
Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Figueredo. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Makashev's in half guard. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Figueredo. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Makashev's going for a choke here. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, come on, that has got to be it. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. Makashev's in half court. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get caught. This is where he wants to be. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Islam Akasha. I want to see that space. Grab your guard back. Let's go. Beautiful submission attempt here. Arm is very tight. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Grounded pound strike there now. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up the submission, but he can take it and try. But in those efforts, he has given himself a chance. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action to if he wants to get the desired Ready. finish. Here we go, fifth and final round. A beautiful lead kick is good there by Islam Akasha. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. There once again, strong work here by Islam Makashev. Get the ball here. Makashev's looking for an armbar here. He is no one-trick pony. What a tight armbar. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less.
He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 47 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Well, for my money, this is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champ.